What's up, you guys? Um, Happy New Year. Uh, so, first things first, I gotta say this, because ads are gonna start in about a minute. Hello. I have to do them. I have to do the ads. Thank you for all the subs. Shane, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Looking forward to kicking butt in 2024. Thank you, Bam Bam. Thanks for all the resubs. We got a hype train going. Um, I gotta say that if you are subscribed, you don't have to watch the ads. Okay? But... If you aren't subscribed, you gotta watch the ads. I gotta do it. It's part of the deal. Uh, but stick around, because I never end the talking um, during an ad. If an ad plays in the outro song, which has happened before, that's not my fault. But I never try to intentionally end the stream uh, during ads. So please stick around through them. Otherwise, subscribe. Hook it up for your uh, hook it up to your Amazon Prime. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a different stream today. A, because I am suffering from overcoming the zombie flu. Um, I have a roll of toilet paper as my nose. I don't even know if you guys can tell. It's been rubbed pretty raw. It's real red and sore from, uh... Oh, James! Thanks for all the gifted subs. If, uh, if you are someone that just got a gift, a subscription gift so you don't have to watch the ads, then please thank your gifter. Uh, yes, I got the hat, and look at the jersey, guys. This is all Queen's Army Christmas stuff. Got my name on it, and my lucky number. Um, thought I'd wear this stuff for you guys today. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't seem cheerful. I'm trying to put the act on. I'll, I'll get into all that, you guys. Uh, I want to make sure we get some people in here. Look. I want to play a little bit of Rogue Trader, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to, I, sometimes, um, we seem Hello? like, I am a person you watch do my job of building houses <laughs> on television, and, um, I am, <coughs> I am a person you see here, really excited to stream for you guys and play video games. I'm a person you see... Um, you've probably watched Fight. I pride myself on being strong, both mentally and physically. And, uh, sometimes... I don't know how emotional I'm gonna get, but sometimes things aren't okay. <sighs> Shit. And, uh, if that's you, it happens to everyone, okay? So, I wanted to come and tell you guys that, uh, you're not the only one that, when you heard Happy New Year on New Year's, you, you, uh, wanted to punch people in the face. <laughs> um, but, uh, I have fun, um, streaming for you guys, so I wanted to do that regardless. Even though it's probably a rough one today. Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't want to get emotional, but that's where I'm at in life right now, so. Um, sometimes there's no reason for it. Sometimes you can do everything perfect and everything right and the fight still doesn't go your way. Uh, and that's the way I'll say that. Um, it's whatever. If any of you guys tell anyone you ever saw tears fall out of my eyes, I'll punch you through the screen. Um, just know that right now, it's hard. Uh, but we're going to have a good time, okay? I appreciate you guys. I, 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 wanted, to be, I wanted to be honest about that because I feel like there's someone probably in here that tunes in because they got nothing else and um <clears throat> uh three loud snaps thumbs up and a spades um <clears throat> so if you're one of those people in here um like social media is hard because it's curated, right? I don't ever put things that aren't true on social media, but it's very curated for your entertainment, right? 
Uh, that's just the truth. I, I like to let you guys in on, like, what I'm doing. Like, I, I, I fixed the fence by myself. Well, I had help, but I did it with my own hands. Um, and that was a fun project. Uh, still no Discord. Um, and, um, yeah. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay if life isn't okay. And you're not by yourself in that. Even badasses in corn hats uh, um, have a rough time, too. But uh, the flu, I feel like, is... Yeah, that's it. Wrestling Historian. It's the spicy chicken wings I've been eating... Um, I don't want to, I don't, guys, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not ready to go into detail about what happened yet, but, um, it's hard. That's all. <sighs> Thomas, you're welcome. We got more hype train. Hype train success. We got to level three, guys. That's not a bad way to start the year. Starting the year with a hype train. Um, happy birthday, priest wife. Early birthday. Uh, yeah, I feel like, honestly, if I'm being honest, I feel like the flu is uh, a uh, physical manifestation of, you know, all the mental and shit going on in life but <sighs> it was uh it was hard and it's hard to like it's hard to um I'm not I'm not like a I don't fake the funk you know what I mean so it's hard when I get added to holiday house shows uh last minute and everyone's like hey how was your Christmas and then I say I'm Shayna so I don't I am who you guys know me to be, so I say something like, oh, it's pretty much the worst fucking Christmas of my life. Um, and people are just like, ha ha, you know, because uh, I'm just Shayna, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. Charmed, that's some good advice. Uh... Yeah. I'll I'll tell you guys someday, you know? And actually this is a funny thing too. Just I'm just going to lay what I lay out there. Um I'm not going to go into detail about the, you know, the situation, but I just so that people don't think they're um thank you, Danny. Uh thank you for everything you do. You're the best. <laughs> uh I will go on YouTube. So, I don't know if you guys know this about me actually. This is like a really unknown fact i'm into like spoken word poetry like def jam uh type stuff um so i go on these kicks where i like to go to poetry slams and you know where they sit in the audience and you snap your fingers instead of clap that sort of cheesy stuff but um you know i'm on here looking up just 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 some stuff to to sort through my head because sometimes like the best way like, the only way to get through shit, no matter the cause of it, no matter what it is, is to, like, just sit waist deep in the shit and, and, and sit there. Like, sometimes that's the only thing you can do. And putting that off just puts that off. And, and that's what you have to do. And there, and it sucks. And there's no, uh, there's no way to make you feel better if you're in the middle of that. Um, but, I la I'm a person that has to stay busy, um throughout the day when shit like that's going on and uh so I'm watching videos I'm doing research because I'm you know building a fence and I'm doing all kinds of stuff but I did watch a video of this girl she was going through like this tough time in her life and she like vlogged like every not not every day but she vlogged for three months her journey through this like sticky tar pit 
And uh, I was like, do I want to do that? I don't think I want to do that. I haven't done that. I haven't vlogged at all, but um, we'd snap for you. There's bones. Yes, everyone's snap bones. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, Sage Francis is my kutch. Yeah, Sage Francis is some good stuff. Zeros, um, tie five. We'll have to, we'll have to pull some stuff up when I, when I'm done. Uh, there's, there's a lot of people. I think my, Favorites, I really like some Buddy Wakefield. I like some T Sleeveless. Um, I heard the bell. I heard the bell. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Watch this one streamer who literally gets emotional all the time. She streams like six days a week. 2023 was one of the worst years for things happening like that in her life. Streaming helps her get through. She also has an amazing group of people. Yeah. This is, like, good because otherwise, what else would I be doing, you know? So, um, Team Derp. We're not Team Derp! Um, thank you, James. Thanks for all your support, always. You're great. Hello there. Headlock Comic in with the gifted subs! Heck yeah! Guys, if you just got a gifted sub, it means you don't have to watch the ads. And you should thank your gifter. For sure. Give him a shout out. Um, Hello there. <clears throat> skull. Dun, dun. No, it's the drum. Dun. Skull. By the way, the Vikings are shit now. It sucks. Hello there. We're at the end of the season. Our whole team's hurt. Specifically our quarterback. It's a big it's a big deal. But uh <laughs> Uh, now my nose is running because I got emotional. Um, hopefully that's the last time this stream, but I don't know. But if you're all also in the sticky tar pit of your shit time in life, um, just know that even cool people like me go through that shit too. Uh, let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the Rocky, the Rocky speech. That's always good. Thank you, JR. That's a good one. Um... <laughs> we can still gritty and support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Vikings. You guys saw me probably tweet about the Vikings um, being a good example of how life is. That. Von Doom, what's up? Von Doom, we might be do a phone call soon. <laughs> Same phone call we've had a few times, I guess. Um, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tie five. That guy talking about how he's a masochist because he's a Vikings fan. Um, but actually, um, CBRS, you bring up a great thing. It says, Mental Escape, what I'm feeling down is watching classic wrestling. Just got home from a show that had two cold Scorpio. Um, well, posted, posted in the, in the, posted in the chat, guys, what you do. When you're in the fucking waist deep in the in the tar pit of your life, you know? What do you do? I tend to throw myself into workouts and try to stay busy doing projects, but I don't know. The problem with me is that I'm a fighter by nature, and so sometimes things are so out of your control that even fighting isn't the thing you should do. So, um... It's, it's, uh, it's against my nature and life is against my nature right now. So, uh, that's that. <laughs> I might jump on the Browns bandwagon once, once, once the playoffs start, if we don't get in. Once the, once the, um, Vikes are out, out. I paint, tend to watch wrestling, listen to music. When I can peel myself off a couch or bed, I draw. <laughs> Why did you put a lump of coal? Uh, one step is still moving forward. Yeah. Vent, hang out with kitties.
play music, rewatch movies. Uh, um, it depends. Uh, uh, so when I'm in the bullshit, I, I actually tend to start finding new music. Uh, cause all of my music is attached to something, right? So I want something different. Um, I do get some, like, things that when I want to go... Like, obviously, my workouts aren't going to be, like, depressing. Um, so I don't play depressing music during my workouts. But, um, you know. Danny, you're writing a novel? Work on art, work out, find animals. The puppy is keeping me through. Isolate, do things I enjoy. Uh, not, not, not quite 2013. No, Von Doom. Not quite. Um, uh, watch music videos. Yeah. If I can hyper focus. Yeah, see, and that's the thing. During the day, I can hyper focus. It's always at night. Um, but yeah. The Cowboys versus the Lions controversy, where the Lions are like. were correct like they did do the sub that thing making things killer i would sooner i would sooner chew my own foot off than become a packers fan uh Yeah, I, I saw that he said they didn't report, but then it, there's video that shows he did report, right? The officiating has been especially bad this year, I feel like. There's been some really bad calls like that this year. <clears throat> Apollyon and PUBG. Yeah, it's one of those things, man. And and, and here's the thing. Um, I Like last night, for example... And this is me just being open and honest with you guys. Um, last night, for example, I came home from jujitsu. And by the way, grappling is, uh, like, fight training has been with me through, has been the constant in my life, right? Like, I'm a fighter through and through. And that was the time this week when I was grappling that uh, everything shut off. The Lions have been good this year. Um, my mind shut off and I felt good. I felt good. I left, I left class. Uh, I came home and normally what happens is like, you know, I'm home alone. Uh, Charlie's left for work building houses in other parts of the country. And I, um, usually stay up super late and, uh, game on my own time. Uh, and maybe watch some anime that I'm into or something or a movie or I don't know, whatever it is. Uh, by the way, I'm currently watching the one piece live action. It's very good. Although I've never seen the anime. Um, so I don't have any frame of reference as to how accurate it is, but I'm enjoying the live action. Uh, but anyway, um, I was playing rogue trader last night and I was perfectly fine. And then it's like, I got hit with a semi truck it just comes out of nowhere. <clears throat> um, there's no reason for it. There's no excuse. There's no trigger. Um, thank you, Nowhere to Fly. Uh, I love reading. I love reading, Shelby. Uh, actually, I've been... So... I don't know. I always hate bringing someone up that I don't know anything about, but that is slightly famous because then if they've been canceled or something, you're going to get canceled. But I got David Goggins' book coming in the mail. I like books like that. So I always want to make sure I'm reading like one like learning book and one fiction book at the same time. I can't do both of the, like I can't do two fiction books at the same time because I'll get them all mixed up. <laughs> I should revisit Berserk, actually. What's up, Marissa? You're missing, you're missing, uh, you missed the beginning, but we're talking about heavy stuff. Um, 
I actually really like uh sci-fi, I guess. Um fantasy. Silent Patient. What's up, Scuba Steve? Uh I like the poem If by Rudyard Kipling. Yeah, I have a I do have a cold. As you can see, my nose is pretty raw. I don't even know if you guys can tell. It's real red around here. Actually, the lighting is washing me out pretty good. But it's real tender and dry. Madoka with the gifted subs. If you if you just got gifted a sub, please thank your gifter because now you don't have to watch ads. What's up, Millie? Um Hello there. Just talking about life's kicking the shit out of me for no reason. I got a little emotional. I didn't go into any detail. Uh, yeah, Tegan was sick this week. It's been going around the locker room, actually, and it's just my turn. I thought I was going to skip me because generally I rolled pretty high in Constitution in my personal character creation. But uh, it did not skip me. Although, hey, Cripple Punk, back in with the gifted subs. Giving it back, paying it forward. Um, <coughs> uh, thank your gifter. If you don't have to watch ads anymore, make sure you give a shout out okay. to your gifter. No, it's not the shim virus. It's just it's just the 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 flu. But yeah, amazes me that my nose can both completely stuffed up and running simultaneously. Yeah, I don't know why. Marcus Aurelius, okay. yes. I I usually read that book every year at the beginning of the year. His meditations, but allergic to bullshit, that's for sure. Mia did look great tonight, man. She worked hard tonight. Um Hello there. Let's see, what else we got? Uh I talked about the fence. Oh, so I finally talked to someone about fixing up the Mustang. That's something I really do want to document. Uh, there's a lot of things that Hello there. I want to document. Listen, Sammy, I'm telling you right now, like, as far as New Year's resolutions for me, I'm being completely honest and open with you. Hello there. Life is, like, I'm not good at the moment, so, like, it's not about the resolution for me. It's about the next uh, thing on the list, the next day. Sometimes that's enough. Sometimes that's enough Hello, if you're in that place. Yes, one day at a time. Um, uh, did you guys see the Arcane, the new Arcane trailer? Actually, do we want to watch that? <laughs> Yeah, the battery died. So, the the thing about the Mustang is it's been at the same shop for a while. The pandemic happened, um, and then you guys remember, we moved out of the BRE house. I got it towed to that shop and just had it rewired. It was having electrical problems all up and down. Couldn't find the gremlin, so I said, you know what? Screw it. Let's rewire it. Tail light to headlight. Let's go. It was sitting there. Uh, I told them they didn't have to hurry because I wasn't, like, in need of... A vehicle or anything um moved house called him wasn't done called him wasn't done forgot about it for a few months called him wasn't done um and now i have a guy i've been talking to a friend of mine that is pretty sure because now i need like one of the things that life is teaching me right now is that i need a car um yeah, there's a new Arcane trailer. We'll watch it. We'll watch it before... before. Actually, we'll watch it. It's really short, so we'll watch it before we get into the game. Um, But, yeah. And then I have the Acura that I've had forever that I can't find the title to. That's actually a big confusing mess. Uh, but I might just, like, take that to a friend's farm and load it with Tannerite. <laughs> that thing's done me good, man. Ooh, Guardians of the Galaxy game is free on the Epic Store right now. Midnight Suns. In this month's Humble Bundle. I ended up getting the Humble Bundle with the uh, Walking Dead Telltales. 
in it. Uh, yeah, Von Doom knows all about the title story. But, Von Doom, I think I'm just gonna give it a good send-off. If I do do the Tannerite thing, I'll definitely video that and post it on YouTube. Troll whores. Not orcs. <laughs> uh, salvage title? How do I get a salvage title? The problem is, I don't know. It's not that I lost the title. It's that I got the car. This is what happened. I'll tell you the story about the Acura. I got the car in LA off a guy on Craigslist. Like some guy in LA. I don't know. I don't even remember his name. Paid cash, drove it away. It got, it did fine. The car runs fine. It probably still does. It's just been sitting. So I'm guessing just the battery needs replacing or jumping or whatever. Um, it's fine. Uh, I just haven't had a need for it. Um, so fast forward, not fast forward too far. So I get the car registered in home in South Dakota because screw registering it in Cali where there's like smog check and taxes and all that crap. Right. So I take it back to, uh, South Dakota or I mean, I take the title to South Dakota. I get it registered. And I don't know how it were if it works the same in every state, but in South Dakota, when you first register a car, you give them the title and then they mail you your tags and the, <clears throat> and the title back. Well, they mail me the tags um, and they say, hey, something was weird about the signature to transfer the title. We need a uh, power of attorney, something to whatever for to get your title back. I don't even know what that means. I'm immature at the time, especially. Uh, I don't worry about it. Whatever, I got the tags. Let's go. I'm going to drive it. At the time, I was working on a 74 Olds Cutlass, you guys recall. Um, but I get signed. I drive the thing all across the United States, all the way to Orlando when I get signed. Thing does great. Drives me across America. Um, I can't ever get it registered, though, right? Because I don't have the title. I can't just register it in... Florida because I don't have the, the title. Uh, so I just drive it for a long time with South Dakota plates and, and you know, no tags. Uh, I don't, I think I never got stopped either a, cause I'm lucky or B because it's South Dakota plates. And they didn't want to bother with it. Uh, but ends up pandemic happens. It sits. We don't go anywhere. When we do, we use the same car. Um, but um, uh, yeah, so now I don't have a title to the car and I don't know if I should like file for lost title or if they'll look it up and be like, remember we needed power of attorney or if like a statute of limitations or whatever. So to take care of it, I might just, like I said, have a, fr I have a friend who's got a big piece of land. Got like 60 acres of, um open land and we might just there, there's a gun range on it and we might just take it out there load it up with tannerite and blow it up the thing the thing is was good to me that was a great car especially considering i bought it for like a thousand bucks um yeah but i don't know i don't know if i can i don't know if a lost title will will work because it's not necessarily a lost title yeah and then they and that's what i mean loco is like they realize i've been i've been um like driving it around i haven't been driving it around though to be fair yeah blasco knows this stuff she's helped me with so much stuff honestly um well it's registered in south dakota i have south dakota plates and tags last last on record but yeah, that's what I thought, that a lost title wouldn't work. So I'm just thinking, part it out to some friends. I have a lot of friends that work on cars. I don't know, go blow it up. <laughs> yeah, use it for target practice. It deserves a fitting end, right? It, that car did so good for me. And then, of course, I need, like, a new daily driver. But I'm on, I'm in the, 
I'm either going to have to, I'm either going to have to get a new daily driver or see how long it's going to take to finish the Mustang. But here's your title and your seven year accumulated fine. Exactly. That's what I don't want. What's what, what does Kentucky ballistics do? <clears throat> yeah, it was, I don't know. I don't know, Pep. Like it was like something was weird with the signature. They almost, so like, here's the other thing that what should have been a flag is that I go to the first window and they're like, oh, we can't take this title. The signature's weird. We're like, what? That's uh, wh okay. I went back again the next day to like a different person and they took it. So it's gotta be something. Spouse does scrap cars. Yeah, I have a 93 Acura CL that runs great, has a great sound system. What if it was stolen? See, that's what I think they think. Oh, what if it was stolen and I bought it? <laughs> that could be a thing. That could be a thing. But regardless, I want to get the Mustang finished. So... If the Mustang is going to cost me, like, boatloads of money to get finished, but it can get done fast, I'm almost willing to bite the bullet at this point and, and just do it just so I have that car. If it's going to be a project that takes a while or is more money than I can do in that short time, then I'm going to need, like, a decent get-around car. The thing about a decent get-around car is I am the queen of queen of spades i'm the queen of freaking spades i need something that's more than just like a like a honda you know what i mean <laughs> no it was a real name i don't remember but see if i can apply for a duplicate title <sighs> think you can pull off a Prius. <laughs> Pep works with titles. Oh, Pep works with car titles. All right. There's got to be something for like abandoned cars or something, right? Like that they can resell or something, but yeah, I need a car that matches my stature of my attitude, Apollyon, you know? By the way, banger of a main event, right? Banger of a main event. Need more than a A to point B, a whip that'll bring love interest. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Because I am... Here's something, guys. I'm sick and tired of being in these times, right? These, like, moments in life and having to shoulder this shit alone. Let's go. Let's love interest the shit out of this life. <laughs> I did have a Ford Maverick at one point in time. No, if I can get that, if I can get that Mustang running reliable, that'll be, that'll be, that'll be what I do. Um, Swag X, what's up? Oh, a, a souped up Bronco would be nice, but I can't spend the money. And it would have to be a souped up Bronco. And I can't spend the money on a souped up Bronco when I got the project car. You know? Oh, Marissa, I don't even know if I'm going to be at Royal Rumble. You, you can't ask that far ahead in this business. Uh, blacked out Raptor. Ooh. <laughs> the Maverick truck, like, that looks like a El Camino. Or not an El Camino. What the heck are those truck cars? It's not an El Camino. It's a, uh... What the heck are those cars? A truck. <laughs> Love interest, the shit out of life. Uh, we can have hate interests, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> El Camino is the truck car? Okay, I was right then. Ford EcoSport. An avalanche? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of guys um, 
There's a lot of guys rage interest high five. There's a lot of guys uh from that I work with that are into cars, so I'm sure someone would be able to help. But honestly, like that's easiest, right? There's no downside to taking it to someone's huge 60 acre property and just like taking out the explodey parts and then like blow like shooting at it. <laughs> Yeah, Marissa, I, I don't mind you asking. I just don't know. I mean, and I'm being honest with you. We don't know. We don't plan that far ahead. Look, I got added to the holiday tour that was the 26th through the 30th um, on the 23rd. <laughs> so that was supposed to be my family Christmas. I had to fly out to go wrestle shows. And then I got back the 30th and had to leave the 31st to go to sma uh, work in San Diego. Um, so, yeah. Tiburon. Fireworks and blowing up a car. Yes, the Toronto show was great. The, the shows are fun, don't get me wrong. Um, yes, Breeze and I are... I did... By the way, I haven't been on here yet, have I? Since I won the Up Up Down Down title? Have I? I don't think I have, have I? Amazing. I am the up, up, down, down champion. I don't have the title yet uh, in my own possession to put in the background like I had the left, right, left, right title. Um, but. Yeah, Marissa, and unfortunately, like, that's par for the course. That's par for the course. <coughs> Yeah, Swag X. I wasn't supposed to be on the holiday tour, and then and then I got added, so I'm glad. It was it's fun to wrestle, and like I said, Christmas sucked, so it was good to like get away and keep my mind busy. Um. I I did tie five, and I've made that joke already. I made that joke already. Is the camera crooked a little bit, or is that just me? I'm glad some of you guys got to see me, though. Um, killer, I would highly recommend a Nika whiskey called Nika Coffee Grain. It has nothing to do with the flavor of coffee. The coffee grain is the name of the type of still that it is made in. It's a Japanese whiskey. It's one of my go-tos. It's what's, it's the type of apple juice that's in this. Should we have a New Year's one? You know what? We'll We'll do that. We'll do that to close it out. We'll do that to close it out. Um, do we got to hunt down Santa? Maybe. I wish it was easy to blame someone like Santa. Uh, Marissa, I got some good gifts right here. This this um, jersey and hat from the Queen's Army members. It's funny because I... Yeah, did everyone watch Violent Night? That was the holiday homework. Um, it's funny because I drive... Like, I rent cars for my job, right? So I drive a lot of different cars. And, like, I find myself always getting, like, a, a Chrysler uh, 300 whenever it's there. I just like driving it. <laughs> so maybe that I just need to get one of those. I don't know. That's a little too... I just need a car that's going to get me around r reliably on the freeway until the Mustang gets done. Yes, Apollyon did report that he did his homework early. Uh... Yeah, yeah, gent. Happy violent night to those that celebrate. <laughs> Maybe try a charger. <laughs> yeah, we do movie homework sometimes. I don't want to put too much money into like a, a super nice car when the mu when I need to put the money into finishing the Mustang. You know what I'm saying? So. A decent car. Yes, Violent Night, must watch every year for Christmas. Uh, great movie. Uh, 
Um, and what else? What do we got? That's about it, right? Mustang. Talking about life sucks. Yeah, got into that a little bit. F the finishing the fence. Oh. Uh, reading this post. A friend of mine put a post up. Eh, might not be the time for it. Yeah, that's that. Oh, yeah! Um... The, uh, the heart rate monitors. We'll look into that. I'll look into that at least. Can't speak for Charlie, but I'll look into that and, uh, see, see what, uh, we could do about getting the app and such. Um. Shelby, what is it? I, I'm reluctant to ask. Uh. No, no, it's on, it's on, Violet Night is on Amazon Prime. Uh, Gent, I got your gift. Don't worry. Uh, I got everyone's gifts. I just can't, I'm not, I, it was like months ago and a lot of stuff has happened. And like I said, life sucks. Apollyon, it's a 69 Mustang. Uh, I posted a picture on my story on Instagram. Um, the inside, it's not really running yet, but the, the, the body job and the paint, it's all cool. What did, what did I say? The body and the paint job is all really nice. So hopefully. <clears throat> New pup up down down shirts. Yeah. Yeah, the paint the paint job on it is actually a Honda paint job, but um hey, there's Ty 5 with the link to the Mustang picture I just posted today saying to look out for some content. That was right after I got off the phone talking to somebody that's going to help me out. Yes, the Wustang. Um, what are you looking at? Dog thinks she found food, I think. Uh, <laughs> Chris, you better, you better get it under control. Well, let's get, let's play a little bit of, so we're actually at a part in Rogue Trader where I wanted to show you guys. So, um, Ooh, Apollyon, that's nice. I love old school Mustangs. Uh, the Fox Body Mustangs? I don't think are as cool. Some people love them. They're really fast, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll play, we'll play a fight. We'll play a fight at the end. We'll play, uh, I have a fight queued up, actually. Um... Yeah. I think, like, uh, it's, it's, yes, and we'll watch the Arcane trailer. Let's load it up. Okay, so, I was telling you guys, space battle, right? So, uh, you guys, you guys aren't too bad, I, I don't think, though. I guess I can't speak for all the mods. Okay, so, check this out. This is space. This is our ship, the Troll Horse. These are pirates, right? So this is how it works. So there's three phases of movement. I can attack during any time. I can use all of these attacks, but only once. Okay? Um, what's up? What are you booping me for? What should you get tattooed? Shelby, what's something that's meaningful to you? That's the thing you have to you have to figure out is that uh, it's gonna be on you forever. So it can't just be something you're into that's like a fad, uh, and it shouldn't be for someone else. You should definitely do a tattoo for yourself, and uh, you know whatever you're into. So here's what we'll do. Watch this. I'm gonna. go here Oh, we can only ram during the acceleration phase. Right. And this and this around the edges is a shield. Right? So 
Now that the shield's down, we can blow these guys up. I wonder if we go here, we could get right up next to them. Or if we go here. Then we could still use this on them. And probably get rid of them. Right? Or we get right up next to them here, and that way we're facing these guys. <sighs> Alright. We'll go here. Alright. Took care of one. Oh, we got a little splash damage in there, actually. Tattoo removal does look... It takes a few, uh... Visits as well, I've heard. Yeah, the Mustang Mach-E shouldn't even be called a Mustang. I get it. It's an electric, cool, new car. It doesn't look... It's not a Mustang. It doesn't even look like a Mustang. <laughs> the Ursus Claws. Nice, nice. Troll horse tattoo. <laughs> Wait, wrestling historian. Is that real? Yeah, I'm actually, uh, so you guys saw the tattoo I got, choking the devil. Um, I might get this one touched up and redone a little bit just to prevent it from, it's, it still looks pretty good, but yeah. Watching my cat watching you on TV. Okay, so... We're gonna watch these guys go. So here's the other thing is these guys fire off these missiles that also move in different turns. See? So they fly around in different turns. So I need to like know what path they're gonna take. All right, so um, we can go here and I think we can take multiple shots at people. Let's do it. So we're gonna go here. Oh, that guy's tougher, tougher shields. It's a much tougher uh, situation. Let's uh, do this though. Dang. Not that, not that. And then this is in case we want to restart our shields. It takes anywhere from one to five turns to restart the shields. So our shields are still holding pretty good. We're going to let them go. Yeah, so these always go in a circle somehow. So that's why I figured going straight next to them would be fine. Except for it does leave me open to their ballistic attack. Uh, Game Freak, it depends on what kind of games you like, because there's RTSs, there's, this game is more of like a, uh, CRPG. I love, this is my favorite Warhammer game I've played. Um, it's not just, I don't know if you've checked it out at all, but it's not just, uh, space battles. I'm getting my, I'm getting my ass beat, you guys. This is not good. Um... Dawn of the Dawn of War games are excellent. Uh, if you're into RTSs, I know that's hard for some people. Uh, so you know, dang, bro. As long as we don't expose our open side, I guess. All right, should we restart the shields now? We're gonna do it just in case. Yeah, the Dawn of War games are great. 
Uh, especially if you get all the DLCs and follow the story. Yeah, I think uh, having Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne is great. They're great together. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Oh, God. We're not doing too... We're not doing too good here. Okay, let's see. No. Let's go after this guy. Or... No, we have no movement there. This this is this is gonna be too hard of a battle. I think I'm not my ship's not advanced enough for this. I still have the entry level ship. There's a lot of games like Mechanicus, Chaos Gate. There's a lot of games like that. Uh, there's also shooters. So if you're into like horde games, Dark Tide's a good one. Um, Space Marine, the original Space Marine has been remastered. That one still holds up. Bolt Gun is great if you're into, like, a story. I think it takes place around the same time as Space Marine or something like that. Um. But yes. Uh, I don't believe I have a retreat option. If I run through these, do, do they explode? Should we should we find out? We just as well learn, right? <laughs> I need to get out of here. Okay, so I won't run into them. Okay, great. Okay. Jeez, that one I haven't even touched yet. Some of the space battles are too hard, then become a breeze. Doesn't seem to be a happy medium. Okay, so if I'm too if I'm not upgraded, I'm probably I probably can't do this battle. So then we know. Now we have to go to uh like a previous save. Ah! It's a sequel. I knew it had some relation to uh Space Marine. Dude, homie is just outside of my range here, so let's see. If these are going to go straight, then I'm going to want to go here. Here? It won't, it won't whip around that quick. These ones might follow me, but we'll see if we can't get some uh, damage on this. Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Oh, we should have done it back one, right? Oh, no. That still would have been two out of... Okay. I can handle that. I actually think an actual tattoo with a tattoo gun isn't as crazy as the stick and poke method. Oh, there is, um, there was an orc game. This is it. This is, this, they're gonna get me. Yeah, this is it. Ooh, ooh, that's rough. Oh, I'm about to be toast. No! Oh, my word. Oh, did we get collateral damage? No? Oh, we're, we did. We're, uh, we're toast. Alright, so we're not ready for this battle, so we're gonna have to go back. Um, Dark Tide was great. We should go back. They have a lot of DLC. Oh, yes, yes! The Shooter's Blood and Teeth. That game was fun. I had to remap the controls, because they're really weird. Um, but, uh, you know... Oops, I did the wrong thing. Uh, but the game is really, really a good time, actually. And actually, I have, uh, been begging, 
Um, do, do troll whores have orgasms? Um, I've been begging Duke uh, to co-op with me on Shooter's Blood and Teeth. Okay, so we want to get out of here. We don't need to be fighting those pirates, then. So, I need to get some ship upgrades. Uh, so, here's the thing about charting paths through the warp. Green means no issues, right? Yellow... Yellow means... A few issues. It goes yellow, red, or yellow, orange, red. Right? Visit. So nothing happened. So the danger of traveling through the warp. A projection from the warp. See, this is going to be crazy. So we're going to go to these planets. We're going to scan. What's this? An ancient bunker? Oh, we can go do battle in an ancient bunker. Let's go. Sniper. Let's get... Uh, okay, I'm happy with these guys. Let's go. <laughs> what in the world they're all doing? Did you see them all? Melting venom. Poisonous vapors somehow found their way onto the bunker's ventilation system. It's like the bunker is working on Okay, wait. Why did I not foresee this? So we're actually just in some poison right now. I'll lay claim to the I star and I... telling me to fall back now. All right. Massive doors dotted with small chips, scratches, bullet marks. There's no sign of any hinges, levers, or anything resembling a lock. There's a dusty panel built into the wall on the right. As you approach, the crack screen starts to flicker. We can use tech. We can use demolition. We can do plasma cutters, suffering through the fumes. Let's, uh, let's tech. Come on now. Yeah! We rolled for tech and it worked! I like this because it pl it's a lot like, um... I guess like Baldur's Gate meets... Miscreant. Uh, like, what? Mummified corpse has its arms outstretched toward the exit. On the soldier's neck is a broken respirator. Oh boy. This looks very. Nurglish. Actually, it's not very Nurglish. <sighs> that guy would have been a zombie. The words are barely visible. Fatality, something, planetary. Defense forces. Okay. Yellowish gas seeping through the rusted air duct system. Alright. There's a door here and a door here. Stop mocking me. Ah. The talking happens My when everybody Look at everybody me. look at look at how fast they're dying. This is not good. My okay, wait, 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 wait. We, we 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 messed up. We messed up big time. We're gonna save, and if I end up dying, we'll just back out and we'll get to the ship. Ugh, this is bad. We don't do quick saves, because we know that's been messed up. We need to find a way to, to kill the gas, right? Corrosion was merciless. Got some stuff here. Some stuff here. Okay, some stuff here. Ooh, we got some med kits. Combi tool, a multi key. Okay, great, awesome, cool. Let's go here. My success is an irrefutable certainty. No, no, you idiot. Oh my word, okay. Stop it! Oh my god, everyone's dying. 
Where is the trap? Okay. I better myself through my service. Godless Southlanders, do you dare trespass on my domain? We got a raid! Yeah, the air is poison. take all of you with me. I know, and I have to find a way to Detected. shut that off, I'm assuming. Detected. Why did I not foresee this? Let's use a key then. What? use a demo charge oh my god everyone's gonna die so these two are heartier I need your Aegis, oh, so we can't get it this is this is bad guys this I is really it. bad oh she died she just fell over Pascal fell over dead that's my tech priest he's the guy that has the high tech we're not gonna be able that to open any of the doors <laughs> Oh my god. Whispers call to me. Whispers getting louder. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. This is bad. This is bad. <clears throat> Nothing is Storm going well. Pain. What is From this? the ashes, I will rise. Oh my god. Everyone's Impossible. dying. Possible. Okay, great. Awesome. My whole party's gonna die. <laughs> What's that? What is that? I don't even know what that is. If I could just find, like, where I'm gonna shut this stuff off, I could I hustle there and do it before everyone dies, you know what I mean? this uh we don't have time i'll read that later <sighs> nothing is going well is pretty much 40k in a nutshell yes you are correct so wait these are my people okay somebody somebody should um Homie, give him a. Take you. Here you go. There you go, dude. And let's put a med kit on. Back on Abelard here. Okay. Nothing in here. Let's go this way. Oh, what the heck? Let's go in here. We're doing we're looking at all these doors. Come on guys. No, what? Oh. Okay, hang on. Everybody. Oh. Let's go. Hmm. Would you look at that? Okay, let's have someone disarm that bad boy. Victory awaits! Oh my god. That didn't work. Several crates of dry rations survived. Each bears a seal of coat of arms of winter scale. Oh no. This is the winter scale people. Okay. Then we're gonna go this way. More med kits. I think it's just- I was just supposed to limp along with medkits, huh? I won't go down easy. I mean... Regain your composure! Yeah, come on. Get your shit together. What's up, Darth? Um, we're just trying to figure out what happened here on the on the station Or or we aren't gonna find out and We made it everywhere Did we go oh, what's this? 
I need to find this loot here. All right. So if I get if I get out of here, everyone will be. Time. No, we're gonna. Ready for date input. I tire of idleness. Let's move. Oh my God, everyone, please. Let's everyone get to the ship. We went everywhere, right? Is there more up here? It looks like it, but I th really feel like we saw the wall. We might just have stumbled upon a derelict winter scale ship, period. Yeah, let's get out of here then. That was pointless. What's up, prospector? Uh <laughs> Sounds very Imperium of Man, yes. Now, if I go back to the bridge, am I gonna have my whole party back? Yes, it is very Baldur's Gate. Um Because it is RPG as well, you know? But I like that this game is basically, uh, you know, the tabletop. Because you have to roll for everything. Yeah, very Shadowrun, yes. It reminds me a lot of Shadowrun. I don't want to waste one of my things on Plasteel. So we scan these planets. Ooh. Collect some loot from an abandoned tech priest base. Should we go here? The sight before you has excited the officer corps, who are delighted to witness a truly majestic end of this planet through the huge windows of the bridge. One of the many nameless worlds throughout the expanse. An unknown reason caused the planet to break into several uneven parts, but its strong magnetic field is still preventing them from drifting into the cold abyss of space. The planet's hard inner core has remained almost untouched. Thousands of explosions take place under its shell of hard metals. It lights up the world's heart from the inside. The auger crew detects several ruined extractums on the broken planet's surface. Their analysis shows somebody used to mine adamantine here, but abandoned the deposit after a catastrophe. Most of the machines are damaged beyond repair, but the tech adepts claim one of the complexes can be restored if the rogue trader has the parts and equipment. Should we, uh, yeah, let's provide the scraps. A few dozen time bells later, the Lord Captain is informed the repair crew is suffering from unrelenting headaches, most likely caused by oppressive magnetic fields of this world. However, the machines have been successfully repaired, and the extraction of adamantine may continue if the Lord Captain wishes. Of course, the mine needs to be staffed with a squad of working servitors and a maintenance brigade doomed to endure endless pain caused by the magnetic storms. <laughs> now, let's, uh, let's take the extractum and go elsewhere, then. We don't need to torture people for something we have plenty of. Yeah, Game Freak. And also, you don't have to remember all the crazy rules, which is what makes Warhammer 40k very almost gatekeeper-ish, is that it's so vast to learn. Not just the lore, the lore itself is very intimidating, but the, the, um, the, like, rule set. Like, it's hard to learn how to play the dang game. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna save right here. Uh, actually, I'll save over top of this one. No. All right. Fine. 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 Um, and we're going to see what's up with the warp. This is always going to be crazy. When the rogue trader ship draws near the unidentified celestial body, the machine spirits on every deck from the bridge to the cargo holds becomes frantic. The engines are refusing to cooperate, sending the void ship hurtling toward the epicenter of the anomaly like an arrow towards a target. You awake after an unsettled sleep to find yourself lying on a stiff cardboard mat. You are overcome with a strange sense of wrongness. This sounds like my life right now. The place is dark and reeks of body odor. <laughs> 
I have to say, I think I smell pretty good, though. So maybe not that part. The place is dark and it reeks of body odor. Oh dear, as you, uh, Commonwealth people spell it. Someone elbows you under the ribs and grabs you by the collar, spitting abuse. It is an enforcer patrolling the void ship and she's clearly displeased. Order the woman let go, ask what the problem is. Should I punch her in the face? Punch her in the face. You wrestle out of the enforcer's grip with ease, punch the woman in the nose, turn around and flee into the darkness of the passageways. After taking yet another turn, you look over your shoulder to see if you are being pursued and you notice the sign on the bulkhead, Bay Theta 54, the lower decks. Yeah, I I am a lore and video game fan and I like painting the models. I don't, I'm not home enough to find a group of people to play actual tabletop Warhammer with. I mean, maybe that's a 2024 20, goal. Who knows? You're a Tao fan. <laughs> when in doubt, punch someone in the face. Alright, so let's see. We can start climbing to the middle decks using an old map on the wall. We can find a Servo Skull messenger in form of the bridge. Talk to the locals to learn about everyday life, or rob a guard post and contact Vigdis using a stolen Vox. We need to rob a guard post. Contact Vigdis. You've been studying the Enforcers for several cycles, observing shift changes, trips to the mess, games of regicide, and the aftermath of boozing sessions. On the fourth day during a shift change, you sneak into the small room and find a Vox caster that someone leaves behind. Upon hearing your voice, uh, the Vox Master gives praise to the Emperor of Humanity. Vigdis explains that you were trapped in an anomaly, made people in the ship inexplicably trade places. A rescue squad was dispatched at once to search for the Lord Captain, but you beat them to it and contacted Vigdis yourself. You had to wait several more ship cycles for the escort squad to make its way from the uppermost decks down to the bottom. Informed about a high-ranking guest in their midst, the overseers of Bay Theta 54 tried to brighten your stay with passable food a soft bed, and even warm water, a privilege not accorded to locals. Eventually, you see the familiar faces of escort officers who come to retrieve you. Uh, hurry to the void ship bridge. The Vox Master gives praise to the Emperor of Humanity as you make your entrance on the Captain's Bridge. Vigdis explains that you were trapped in an anomaly that made the people on the ship inexplicably trade places. A rescue squad was, a rescue squad was immediately dispatched to search, but on finding... Take quite a big of time. All's well that ends well. Lord Captain is at the helm. Continue our journey through the Cronus Expanse. Long live Bays von Valencius. Wow. So, we've explored this whole entire place. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah, so a lot of the events are just dice rolls, which is what an RPG is, right? Uh, let's go back. Mysterious sickness struck the clan. See, so this is the level yellow. We ran into some trouble. Uh, Macro, the disease quickly spread, causing the afflicted to writhe in unbearable stomach cramps and expire after several days of agony. Before the officers could react, the neighboring clans took the issue into their own hands, flooded the chamber with carbon monoxide. The macro cannon was put back into service, and the vigilantes were punished for subjecting the rotated servants to mob justice. Yeah, and there we appear. So, we have this. We have this. I feel like I'm getting so far away. There's something I'm missing. Like... These places are like where I've been. These question marks are where I haven't been yet. Right? So, I don't know. I feel like... Is, is it just a gamble? And then I can use some Navigator's Insight to uh, have these warp anomalies be not as bad. A catastrophe in the Omniscience Hollowed Halls. One of the few magi assigned by the machine cult to serve on the ship has lost his mind. Singing distorted binary liturgies, the heretic has broken the sacred code rhythms to turn the ship's machines against the rest of the crew. Superstitious voidsmen are paralyzed with fear before the mad servant of the mechanic is only the Lord Captain can stand against the- Oh, see, now we have to fight. Yeah. Alright, so everyone's there. Okay, great. Now we have to fight. 
What's up, Kid Fury? All right, we'll do this battle. So this is what uh, the game is like now that we're off that first original planet we were on, right? It's pretty cool. Oh, White Oprah. That sounds pretty fun, actually. Do you guys do miniatures, too? Oh, happy early birthday. Okay, so. What are we, uh, what are we looking at here for battle? What the heck? We're just gonna go forward, I guess? Yeah, let's go. That's all we can do. So there's some weird stuff going on. What's in here? Nothing? Okay. What's up here? I feel like... This feels very zinchy, doesn't it? My way. Oh, there's a corrupted servitor. Okay, let's go. Submit. Yep. And you'll die quickly. Alright, so. We're gonna get sniper position set up. Let's see. He's a heavy tank. Let's put him up front. She is a buff person. Let's get her hidden. She's like a mid-rangey sort of ranged character. We'll put her back here. He's also a heavy. Let's put him here. Alright, let's get all our tanky boys up front. Let's go! So, she sets an area of the battlefield that is gonna be... Anything is? No, nah, that's good. We're good. Actually, give him a little buff here. Wait, I put the wrong... Why is Baze there? Ugh, this is messed up. I messed up. No miniatures, just the, just the, uh, dialogue. So, at the risk of us getting flanked from behind... Okay, so, the cool thing about him is, he could go here. Right? So he can basically attack twice. He's got this ability, I can dash, hit him. And then I can use my regular attack turn, hit him. And, uh, and then that ability right there, defensive stance, is a counter blow. Every time he gets swung at, he can, um, he'll counter attack, right? Yeah, we're gonna get flanked in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna put Heinrichs back. What the? Okay, that's the front side still. Oh, we're getting pinched off. Okay, so. I'm gonna have Pascal. <coughs> How do we have a couple turns back here? <coughs> oh man, sorry. Of course the zombie virus acts up. Right? <clears throat> Guys, we'll do this battle and then we'll watch some trailers. Okay? Let's 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 put him back here. <clears throat> I'll take a shot at him just for the sake of it. Oh, I hit him. Okay. Um we'll give everyone a great big boost. Cool. All right. Oh, what the heck? Who's controlling that? Oh my word. That was insulting. This is not good. This is not good.
Let's go. Fire for everyone. Oh man, it's really not affecting them at all. This is this is bad. We're gonna have Heinrichs. Uh, he's actually gonna be a backline guy, but I'll have him fight here for right now. Only terror smites your enemies. I messed up because he's got that same ability that uh, Abelard has. <clears throat> okay, Baze. Baze is sniping. Can we just get this guy? So, here's one thing I have to do is I need to use... I definite oh my word there's another turret okay so this ability here that weapon ability gives her gives the next the next uh, attack on that target is a crit we're gonna get overwhelmed in this hallway we need to retreat to like a where well, we're not gonna get pinched in the middle like this. Okay, so he's gonna kill him, and then he can dash. Oh, he missed, and then he can stand like this. All right. Yeah, we need to get somewhere where we can bottleneck him. We're gonna die, and then and then this battle is gonna be. Yeah, I have to respect. I. Yeah, see, that paid off. Let's have him. Let's have him be here. The machine spirit thing it should actually help us with this, right? Because these are servitors. Yeah. Do I do this? One exploit on all enemies in combat, or assassin makes an attack. This cannot miss and deals 50% more damage. I think we save that for a big boy, right? Oh my word, those turrets are killing me! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If we don't if we don't do this battle right, then we gotta reassess. Uh... Oh no! Oh my gosh! Killed, killed her. Well, didn't kill her, but downed her. All right. Let's go. And then we'll use this. Oh my word, his 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 weapon isn't anything against these guys, man. this all set up wrong. The strategy of this I have definitely set up wrong. And I shouldn't have used the fire against tech people. I'm an idiot. Should have used the bolter. I guess I'll have a Thank you. No where well. Ugh oh, my word.
I mean, it's a toss up at this problem. point, all right? It's like we're missed and hit the other guy. Oh no. I need to keep her in cover, but I need her to be able to go where she can see. Alright. Yeah, you already got it. Okay. Yeah, so... I think what I'm gonna have to do is back into a situation where I can use my front line and all that um, with my Psyker to buff my party and just let the let the enemies funnel to me. That's how I'm gonna have to do it. Yeah, I know, and I and I wish I had paid more attention. I've I've just been so in my own head lately about life that I just. Oops. Skills. I messed up, uh... Too close. <laughs> Alright. Oh my word, that's me dead. Okay, all right. So part of this is that I don't have anyone spec right. Uh, the other part is that I'm playing this strategically wrong. Oh, that's cool, Hedgehog. We're gonna, we're gonna try, we're gonna, after I get my ass kicked, we're gonna watch some, um, we're gonna watch the quick trailer of, uh, you know, he does have a lifesteal. Okay, good. <clears throat> I don't have my sniper anymore. Your back and go. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just getting my I'm just getting my ass whooped. Yes, I want Mutant League again. That 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 was fun. <laughs> Tie five. There's um. A small chance that I might be doing a spa day with um, Naya Jax, like you guys saw on Up Up Down Down, explaining to her uh, Warhammer lore. Man, I hate throwing in the towel, but I just don't see how this is gonna. End well for us. Okay. All right. That's all right. <laughs> um, let's have him kill this guy. All right. Oh. 
Jeez. Okay. 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 I will do my duty. He's still standing strong in this Abelard. He's a badass. Strategic retreat, yes. Maybe, Oprah, I guess. I don't know. Warhammer book reports. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that to you. There's too many. That's way too overwhelming. Pascal back here, like, doing his own thing, too. Here, we'll help him live. Come on, Pascal. That's the other thing. I You can tell my heart's not in it, guys. You can tell I wanted to hang out with you more, because... I haven't been paying attention to the med kits. Oh, Heinrich's done. Tech priest. Overcharged servitor. Yeah, he looks badass. Oh, not good. All right, Pascal, let's go. Well, big swing. <laughs> Nobody dead yet. Nobody dead yet. The flesh betrays me. Flesh betrays me. I kind of grown to like the Mechanicum as well. Yeah, major kills cool. A Vox in the Void is another good one, Von Doom. It, it is. Hanging out with the chat is definitely the priority, but usually when I'm playing the game, I'm at least super instant. Like, I can just tell I'm a little bit checked out, to be honest. Here, should we... No matter the cost. No matter the cost. Let's go. Did we kill the other guy? Yeah. Hit. Ugh. Let's do it again. Hit. Ugh. And let's... Can we charge? Heck yeah, we can. Get him. Ugh. Get him! Uh, uh. Do we have one more? No, that was it. All right. So that was his heroic. Accidentally turn it off. <laughs> oh no! Avalard's the only one left, bro. What a hero! Ah! Let's go! Charge him! Uh, all right. And then what? We have to go kill these turrets, I imagine. Right? What's this? Oh. Imagine I, I beat this battle with just Abelard left. Oh my gosh! Right. He's he's a melee guy, so <laughs> Oh jeez, this is no good. Come on. Careful. Come on! Now I'm rooting for him. Thank you, Bez! <laughs> He's the goat. All right. If I can take out this turret... Oh, I still have to go take this one out. All right, all right! Those guys are almost dead. We're not worried about them. Oh my lord. All right. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Uh, let's go here and then we can dash over to him. 
Come on, then! We're going out on our shield! Yeah! Oh no, I should have used another med pack. This? Oh, he did it! He dodged it! He dodged it twice! You guys, you guys. Actually, no, wait. Let me be smart here. Okay. Do I try to escape? No. First things first. First things first. Oh, we live another round. We live another round. Come on. Get him. <clears throat> okay. All right. We're going to post up like this. Let's go. We're not afraid of these guys. We're not afraid of these guys. No, no, let's go. And this guy has a ranged weapon, so as long as I keep him pinned, he can't attack me. Oh god, he's gonna come around. He can do it. Dodge. Nope, nope, it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no! No, what a valiant effort! I really thought he could do it! I really thought he could do it in the end. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I really started rooting for him by the end. Dang. <laughs> Abelard really run me, really won me over there. I was kind of like checked out, not really too much into it. I was, he won me over, that Abelard. You guys see my pink nose from having to blow it so much? Uh. Let's pull up this, let's pull up this trailer. Okay, what did I say? Let me look at my notes. Let me look at my notes. Um, uh, arcane. Arcane season two. It's really short. And I don't know if you guys watched season one of Arcane, but it's one of my, it's probably my favorite animated series, honestly. It was so good. It was so good. And if you haven't, maybe we should have that be homework. Episode one of Arcane. Actually, that might be, that might be the homework tonight. You know, it's on Netflix. Oh, yeah, um, I got Claudio into Major Kill. Look, I got Claudio into 40k. I'm just gonna say that. Because when we were in Nottingham, I got invited to go to Warhammer World, <clears throat> and I needed a buddy, and he was down. And he said he spent the entire 10-hour flight over there watching lore and stuff so that he could be up to speed and, be, and like know a little bit about what he was doing. And he was my Warhammer buddy for a long time. And we would listen on car rides. We would send each other videos, like lore videos to listen to. The Remembrancer. Uh, there's also uh, Baldemort. He does really good lore videos. A Vox in the Void is really good. Um, but yeah. All right. Here we go. This is really short. And if you haven't watched season one, but... Um, It's going to be confusing, but it looks so good. I love the animation style. I'm going to be honest with you. For those of you that have watched Red Rising, I feel like this is the way to do Red Rising justice. I feel like there's no... I don't trust any studio to do Red Rising live action justice the way it needs to be done. Um... I am so stoked. It doesn't come out till November, but that's plenty of time for us to do week by week homework and be watching Arcane, right? I think. Right, guys? <laughs> You're
Your friend has work on the first episode of season one. That's awesome. So, don't forget, guys, this could be me one day. This could be you guys talking about me saying, Shayna's got work on episode one of the Warhammer 40k series that Henry Cavill did. Uh, but we'll do that for the homework. Arcane, episode one. Season one, episode one. All right? You don't. It's based on League of Legends, the universe, but you don't need to know anything about League of Legends or the lore to enjoy the show. I think, in my opinion, also, this uh, series has some of the best written female character work in all of, like, lore telling. Right? <clears throat> yes, hashtag Shayna for Warhammer. That's a thing. All right. The fight this week, it's been on my, uh, um, list for a while. Uh, what the heck was that girl's name? Ah, here it is. Here it is. All right. So I'm going to tell you about this fight. Let's see if we can find a better recording of it, actually. Jessamine Duke versus Marcia Allen. Uh, there's Susie Montero. We can watch that one too. Um, and I think we have to watch the the tw the Twitch thing to close it out. The Chop Fest. All right, I think this looks like the best one we're gonna get. So, uh, backstory about this. All right, um, <laughs> that's true, Sammy. So, backstory about this fight. So, for those of you that are new in the chat, or that are watching and can't chat yet, uh, what we do is we usually end the stream with, you guys give me a, a fight or a grappling match or a street fight on World Star that you saw that you want some commentary on. We end the stream that way. Um, we've watched some of my own. I'm, I've recorded those. I, I want to eventually edit those, put them on my YouTube channel, which you should go follow my YouTube channel. I hopefully I'm going to be doing more content on there as well. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, this fight in particular, let's switch it. This fight in particular, um, is, uh, yeah, you guys are going to want to binge it, probably. But I want to talk about it. So you got to do notes about each one so we can chit-chat. Um, and I'll do it with you guys. Uh, so this fight, this girl, Marcia, is from my hometown, Sioux Falls. At this point in time, right? So she came in to train at my gym probably like two or three times before this fight. I didn't know Jay Duke yet. Jay Duke, this is the undercard, okay? So I actually was fighting on the main event at this at this particular event. I fought on the main event. So I've told you guys before, like, Jay Duke was an up-and-comer when um, I was on the main card, right? She came up to me, was like, so cool to meet you, whatever. I always give her crap that she was a fan of mine first. But um, this girl had, like, told in interviews that she was training with me. And here's the problem is that I win or lose, like she didn't train with us at that time enough. I didn't, I barely knew her. I did start doing strength and conditioning at the same place as her. So I got to know her. Um, but at this point in time, like she was training with some friends in a town that was maybe an hour outside, a little bit over an hour outside of Sioux Falls, my hometown. Um, but uh, I just knew like, okay, Jay Duke's a submission person. She's got long limbs. I've seen Jay Duke get caught in arm bars and somehow get out of them. So I was like, here's my advice. Like when she came in and said she was fighting Jay Duke, I kind of gave my analysis, but, uh, um, yeah, I, I, that was it. So it kind of was upsetting and you'll see why. Great. That was great. Don't piss Duke off. <laughs> yeah, the switch on the nose boop. Uh...
Yeah, don't piss off a southern girl. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so that was that. What else did I say we wanted to look at quick? Is that it? Oh, no, uh, Chop Mania. We'll go Chop Mania to end it, and we'll get the puppy up here. All right, guys. Hello there. This is, um... 2017 this is old school this is old school so we just had moved to orlando we just started working and uh this was the first new year's eve we ever had in orlando here we go this is for the new year to ring in the new this was on new year's eve we had a new year's eve party at my house duke was streaming so yeah i'm ready i'm ready So the idea was people made donations and for the right amount of donation, people would request the chopper and the choppy, okay? So that's why you'll see a bunch of us. Ah. This was the beginning of the BRE. Mia was still on crutches, yeah. She just had her ankle surgery. Knock the green screen. Look how red her chest is. to end it and then and then so bonus okay so i got dm'd and this was like um this was like a secret donation for uh an unannounced if you donate this much text me and we will announce the surprise who I'm going to chop. So everybody's in the living room at this point watching the stream. So there's like a 10, 20 second delay, right? From the time I talk to where you hear, right? To the, to the broadcast. So, um, it was Duke. Duke was the surprise chopper. Somebody paid. Uh, we did it. I, I can't remember if it was in the chat and she didn't notice, but they paid me. So I'm in her room to announce who the, ch who is going to get chopped. So everybody's watching in the living room being like, please not me, please not me, please not me. This is the end. I want you guys to know, all those guys are sitting out here watching this, scared at who I'm going <laughs> to... And then I chop around nowhere and then... Okay, I'm going to play it again, but listen, like, 10 seconds after you hear everyone in the living room, like, pop. Okay? I'm going to turn the volume up, so... Let me wind it back. Gonna... Okay, wait. <laughs> Let me turn it up. Wait. <laughs> I love that you can hear everybody, everybody in the living room. Such a good way to end it. Such a good way to end it. Yeah, I don't want to chop her. Yeah. Uh, such a good way to end it. That was a good time. That's always a fun video to watch every year. <laughs> hey, puppy, come here. Come here. Guys, I'm thinking about getting uh, an arm that doesn't come down like this, that comes low, so that this is lower, so it's less in the way. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that thinking too much? Puppy, come here. Look at puppy got puppy got her Xanax pill from um from Thai Five. 
for Christmas. Come here. Come. Here, come here. Come here. Come on. Quit grumbling. You haven't been here. <laughs> oh, no. Now you're... Uh. Hi. Hi. How are you? This puppy's keeping me... Trying to keep my keel above water here. Or, or, or not my keel above water, but the boat. Right? We've got a tough job lately. Yeah. I know. Look at your emotes. <sighs> yeah. We love what we do, guys, and we do it for you. She's looking at the sky because there's an airplane going overhead. <laughs> that was cute. Um, I'll see you guys again. Probably next week, right? Maybe, maybe some other days. Make sure... Gross. What the heck? Make sure you guys follow me on the socials. I'm QOS Baszler on everything. Um, Instagram stories where my most up-to-date stuff is. Uh, so you'll know at least when I when I'm streaming if I get to stream on weird days I did an IRL stream on Christmas Eve uh, We might do some more of those while I paint you guys seem to like that um, And hey uh, uh, Rocker I have played Monster Hunter Rise, but I don't currently play haven't played in a while um, but puppy can you tell everyone Happy New Year? Happy New Year! <laughs> say Happy New Year. If you want to say Happy New Year. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> She's over it. She's over it. Um, but, uh, yeah, follow me so you know when I'm streaming next. Make sure, guys... Check in on your homies, even your ones that you think are strong and put together, right? Uh, you can't check in on them too much, trust me. Sorry about the uh, weird start to the stream. I wanted to be open and honest with you guys. Um, life is hard right now. I'm not going to lie, it's hard. I'm, I'm, I'm walking forward, but uh, for me personally, it sucks right now. It's not good. Um, not, not, not doing good, but I'm doing, but I'm doing. Sometimes that's all you can do. Uh, but check in on your homies. Don't ever think you're being too overbearing with it. Um, and, uh, thanks for listening, you guys. Thanks for helping me take my mind off shit for a couple hours. Um, but yeah. And remember, guys, I'm getting the Mustang fixed. So, uh, if I wasn't me, I would definitely, at that point, be just like you and want to make out with me, too. Thank you, guys. Please follow. Thanks for all the support and the subs. Let's, let's turn this year around, right? 2023 ended pretty shittily. Let's turn this one around and knock it out of the park. Let the galaxy burn.